The Chance Electronic Sectionalizer is a device that has built-in intelligence to discriminate between temporary, also known as transient, and permanent faults on an overhead distribution system. It operates in conjunction with a backup automatic circuit recloser or reclosing circuit breaker. The sectionalizer unit mounts in a standard Chance Type C cutout and SNC Type XS cutout mounting. It is specifically designed for the protection of single phase lateral lines. When installed at the beginning of a lateral, it virtually eliminates nuisance outages. Its functional concept and design greatly improve system coordination. Traditionally, the individual laterals are protected by expulsion type fused cutouts. These cutouts are intended to operate only during a permanent fault on the lateral by carefully coordinating the fuse links with the time current characteristics of the upstream automatic circuit recloser or reclosing circuit breaker. Unfortunately, Coordination between fuse links and upstream automatic circuit reclosers is unachievable above a few thousand amperes. Coordination, if achieved on paper, can easily change as the fault current increases due to larger capacity facilities, addition of larger substations, or reconductoring. Errors in refusing is another way that system coordination can be lost. The current level necessary for the electronics to respond to an overcurrent is 160% of its rated continuous current. The table shows the actuating current levels for the continuous current rating ranging from 5 amps to 200 amps. When the electronic sectionalizer recognizes an overcurrent above the actuating current, the electronics then looks for a deadline threshold of 300 milliamperes or less for approximately 100 milliseconds in duration before it will count. When subjected to an overcurrent followed by a current below its deadline threshold level, the CES merely counts backup recloser operations. After a predetermined number of such operations, it isolates the circuit while the backup recloser is in the open position. The recloser is then allowed to close, restoring service to the unfaulted sections of the system. Select a properly rated sectionalizer for each installation with consideration to continuous current, actuating current, number of counts, and BIL. Should there be any concern on the use of this sectionalizer as rated, consult your supervisor before installation. Securely attach mounting bracket to cross arm or pole. Install the sectionalizer mounting assembly on the mounting bracket. The external tooth lock washer must be between the mounting bracket and the sectionalizer bushing support pin. Tighten the nut finger tight. Rotate the sectionalizer on the mounting bracket to provide maximum operator clearance and ease of operation. Securely tighten carriage bolt nut. Wire brush conductors. Apply a coating of oxidation inhibitor such as Chance ZLN 100 or 200. To attach electrical leads to the cutout, First, loosen top and bottom terminal washer face nuts. Insert conductor into terminal. Tighten washer face nuts to about 20 foot-pounds. On the new sectionalizers we are shipping from the factory, actuators are already installed. However, before putting a new sectionalizer in service, check to ensure insulated terminals are over the tabs and the trunnion is latched. Once you have determined the actuator and trunnion are in their proper places, insert the hook stick into the hook stick opening in the trunnion. Place the sectionalizer module into the hinge and remove the hook stick. The operator should position himself well clear of the sectionalizer and follow normal safety procedures. Place the hook stick in the hook stick ring on the upper ferrule of the sectionalizer module. Rotate the sectionalizer module to an intermediate position. 
quickly and firmly drive the sectionalizer module into the closed position. Carefully remove hook stick from the ring to avoid opening the sectionalizer. All chance electronic sectionalizers include load brake hooks for use with a load brake tool. To open the sectionalizer, use only an approved tool or device designed for use with cutouts. Follow the instructions provided with such tools. Once the sectionalizer is open, use a hook stick to remove the sectionalizer module from the hinge. As an alternative to load brake hooks and load brake tool for opening the sectionalizer under load, a load brake sectionalizer is available. With this unit, load is broken by opening the load brake module. If a permanent fault occurs, the sectionalizer will operate and drop open to isolate the faulted section of line. Repair the fault. Replace the actuator before placing the sectionalizer module in service. To remove the spent actuator, pull the insulated leads from the module tabs. Unscrew the actuator from the lower fitting. Install the new actuator in the threaded hole of the lower fitting. Tighten actuator finger tight, making sure its end is flush with the casting surface. Do not tighten with wrench. Over tightening may damage the actuator. Place the insulated terminals over the tabs and firmly push until they stop. The insulated terminals should cover the tabs. Latch the trunnion in place by rotating it toward the lower fitting. Now you can return the sectionalizer to service following regular procedures. The sectionalizer should require little maintenance. If the sectionalizer has operated on a fault condition, follow the procedure shown previously under resetting for replacement of the actuator. During this procedure, inspect the threaded hole which receives the actuator to make sure it is clean and free of burrs. Inspect the electrical connectors on the sectionalizer module and on the actuator to be sure they are clean and free of contamination. To check the electrical condition of the actuator, use an ohm meter with a maximum current output of 10 milliamperes. The measured resistance between the actuator leads should be 0.9 ohms to 1.6 ohms. The measured resistance between the leads shorted together and the actuator body should be greater than 100 mega ohms. Replace any broken or cracked porcelain of the mounting assembly and clean or replace if heavily contaminated. Inspect contacts for excessive pitting or burning and replace if necessary. Pivot points should be clean and smooth operating. The present practice of installing a sectionalizing type of cutout at the start of a lateral results in less than optimum coordination of the distribution system both upstream and downstream from this location. Use of a dependable electronic sectionalizer can greatly enhance system coordination at significantly reduced costs. The Chance Electronically Controlled Sectionalizer offers substantially improved protective characteristics, better consistency and reliability, and significant cost improvements.